The Christmas masses they're attending right now could be the last ones they observe at this 100-year-old parish. Yeah, the Archdiocese of Chicago intends to consolidate the parish with another. However, WJN's Gaynor Hall tells us parishioners are appealing this closing all the way to Rome. Gaynor? Yeah, they are, Ray and Lourdes. Weddings, baptisms, funerals, longtime parishioners say St. Matthias Church has been an integral part of their lives, and they have been fighting to save this church. There were two Christmas Eve masses happening tonight. You had to reserve a seat in advance, and they were all gone. This could be the last Christmas here. The Archdiocese is planning to close the church and merge St. Matthias with Queen of Angels in January. Under that plan, the St. Matthias School would remain open. Now, for Evelyn Rubino's family, the parish has been there for decades through joy and loss. I don't think it was fair. I think it's all political, and it's about money. We were all married here. My husband just passed, which was one of her sons. It was very sad, very sad uh, times that we're living in these days. Parishioners mobilized and waged a legal fight. They are hoping and praying that the Vatican will agree to take up their case and save this church. But so far, there has been no word on that from Rome. Reporting live tonight from Lincoln Square, Gaynor Hall, WGN News. All right, Gainer.